International Institute for Cancer Care Research and Treatment, NICRAT, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, has organized Nigerian Siemens Health Nears Systems Workshop to improve the outcome of cancer care in Nigeria. The Director General of NICRAT, Dr. Husman Malami Aliu, in his opening speech said, Efforts of federal government to strengthen cancer care in Nigeria demonstrates the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's commitment to change the narrative of cancer care in Nigeria. He appreciates the Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alausa, for his unrelenting efforts towards achieving quality cancer care. Funding of research in cancer, routinization of cancer prevention services in the country, among other things, clearly demonstrate the commitment of His Excellency President Ahmed Bola Tinubu to change the narrative of cancer here in Nigeria. Let me extend our heartfelt uh, appreciation to the Honorable Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare for his unending support, fatherly guide and commitment to the Institute's effort and the determination to improve cancer care and control in Nigeria. Today's workshop provides a platform for us to exchange knowledge, share best practices, and forge a new alliance that will drive progress in the field of cancer care. Through collaborative initiative, we can leverage the expertise, resources, and technology of our partners to facilitate access to high quality care promote early detection, and enhance the continuum of care for individuals impacted by cancer. The Minister of State for Health and Social Welfare, Dr. Tunji Alausa, while declaring the workshop open in a speech that disclosed the Ministry's plans and strategies geometrically to increase cancer experts in the country through training and retraining of all categories of healthcare professionals to reduce the scourge of making sure people with cancer have easy access to best health care. He says the ministry is focusing through NICRAT on CHF implementation to enhance coverage, effective mobilization and others. This meeting could not have come at a better time than now when federal government of Nigeria under the able leadership of our president, President Bola Metinumbu, GCFM, is committed more than ever before to win the war against cancer in Nigeria. <clears throat> cancer statistics in our country today is not encouraging. For instance, in the year 2022, the estimated number of new cancer cases in Nigeria was 127,763, with about 80,000 deaths. This is also expected to increase by 77% and death to double by the year 2015. This proportionate increase is more striking in low and middle income countries like ours and has far-reaching economic impact on the healthcare system as well as the country as la at large. Today, stakeholders, healthcare professionals, and non-governmental organizations are working closely together to address this menace. This workshop, with its excellent objectives of improving collaboration between public and private sector to mitigate against the scourge of cancer in Nigeria and improve the outcome of cancer care to those affected by this disease. It's a very tim timely workshop. The minister in an interview with Echo Hot Blog TV gave an insight into what the workshop seeks to address and its importance to Nigerians. Arisa, how would you describe today's event? Yeah, uh, today's event, um, it's a workshop to further uh, expand the way we manage uh, cancer uh, treatment in, the, in our country, Nigeria. It spans, uh, um, the workshop will cover area of uh, cancer surveillance, uh, prevention, 
uh, control and treatment as well as palliative care. They've assembled a team of experts that will be discussing later today. I just opened the workshop. They'll be discussing an encompassing way to marshal forward in our agenda to aggressively reduce the rising incidence of cancer in our country. As you're aware, our president, President Bola Mechinimbo, just ap approved the uh, building of six new cancer centers and also building of nine uh, diagnostic centers. And we, that's in addition to the existing cancer centers that are currently in the country. And we're also working more to expand more cancer, uh, to bring more cancer centers, uh, to bring more cancer centers um, online um, to a uh, uh, growing population. So as we move along, we're working to meeting the needs of our people. And that's what the president wants as the president commitment to the citizens of Nigeria. Every single Nigeria is entitled to meaningful and comprehensive health care. This workshop also adds to that. We now, we now have a renewed hope in our country where every sector of our country is being, um, every, every problems with every sector in our country is being tackled in a sustainable way so that citizens of Nigeria can begin to enjoy, actually they've started enjoying um, the benefits of good government. All right, sir. Um, from the little I've seen there, we've seen different types of cancer that definitely so many Nigerians don't know about. What is the ministry doing, doing in terms of sensitization? Yeah, you have you see, the, uh, the commonest cause of, uh, the common, uh, commonest type of cancer as in women, breast cancer as, as the most common. You have a cervical cancer, the second leading cause of cancer death, as well as colorectal in men. Um, prostate cancer, um, colorectal, and possibly liver cancer. So we're doing, as I said, we're doing everything, a full panoply of attacking the rising incidence of cancer. Surveillance, uh, education, prevention, adequate treatment, and unfortunately, the people that, after being treated, they are still, they're going to die from cancer. We're also expanding, developing more a palliative care and hospice care in the country. As part of what we're doing as well, we've uh, also commissioned the National Postgraduate Medical College to add another specialty into their fellowship program, which will be dedicated to hospice and palliative care. So we're tackling this front, uh, front and center in a longitudinal manner. Thank you. Comfort Olayinka, Eco Hot TV.